In this video, I'm going to show you how to practice with a metronome. So let's imagine you are practicing this piece or another piece and you want to play it really fast, but your fingers are just not moving as fast. What can you do? I'm going to give you the steps to take in this video. The first step is that you remove any special bowings. So if you are slurring or playing some difficult kind of apo staccato or any kind of special bow stroke, I want you to take the special bow stroke away, also the special dynamics and accents, and just to focus on the notes. So imagine the fast part you want to learn is then you will just play you are just playing every note in the part you are working on, detaché, for now. Then you are getting the metronome. You put it on a low speed. So I just put the metronome on 80 and now we are going to practice first in this tempo. Now if you can play in this tempo, you are going to play a little faster. So now I'm bumping it up until 90, then you go, maybe you go five higher or 10 higher at a time. And then you are just going to work your way progressively upward. And we're getting faster all the time. Okay, now just imagine I was working upwards all the time. This takes days and weeks. So, of course, you're not going to switch from here to there. But let's imagine I've been working my way up to 300. So you're just slowly working your way upwards with a metronome. Now, if you followed the first step that will already take a few weeks, then you are going to add the bowing. You are going to take your metronome down again, low to a low tempo, and then you are going to practice it again with a bowing, starting at a low tempo, and then you are, um, and then you are gradually increasing the tempo over time. After you've learned the piece with the bowing, you will add all the special accents and dynamics. Again, you will lower the tempo. You will add the special accents and dynamics. So you will actually be playing the piece perfectly. You will use all the bowings. You will play all the accents. And then you are working your way upwards again. So this is a great way to practice with the metronome. Try it out at home. And if you did it, please post in the comments below what it was like. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel for more violin, weekly violin tutorials. And I hope to see you in another video. Goodbye. Thank you.